of how far my skin has come guys yo hey guys welcome to my new vlog um my name is malesiba wakasakami but i am known as miss carol on my social media platforms uh if you are new welcome if you've been here before thank you so much don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share my videos with your families and friends so we are just about to go now sorry we are just about to go we are going to a family market near us we're actually looking for f1 caps um yeah f1 caps for our boys they have been invited to a birthday party but it's month end i was actually looking for we were actually looking for t-shirts for them but that other shop is too expensive it's like i think one point something for one shirt yeah for one shirt so it's a lot especially for the toddler because he is still growing so we are going there I am also looking for backpacks, like a school bag for my little boy. He just started school this week. So actually my sister sent me uh, a screenshot from Checkers. I was actually looking for backpacks, but I couldn't find any. So she sent me a screenshot. We are going to Checkers to look, to look for them. We have one, two, three, about three Checkers, checkers in our area. So yeah i'm going to it's a cartoon backpack obviously he's in crutch we need to get him that it's only fair uh, i don't want to be those moms that just want to deny their children uh like all this fun stuff the the cartoons and all of that because maybe i want to be different or i want to buy him like neutral stuff so yeah guys come with us let us go and check out a backpack for my little boy and then caps for him and his brother. So I'll see you guys at the market and then at the shopping center as well. See you guys later. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I'm vlogging. Two years. Two years. Three. Two years. Three. Okay, that one is fine. And then for um, uh, shops at the family market and at the shopping center so let me quickly just show you what we got uh, first things first when we went to the family market actually we were looking for the f1 t-shirts for those who don't know what f1 is f1 is formula one it's a car racing sport uh, i'm not sure if it's in south africa but I know that it's the one that um, Bergman Louis Hamilton is participating in and then Lee Mark Verstappen. So in this family, they are supporting Mark. Ki baga Red Bull, Red Bull. So I quickly wanted to show you what we found. I'm not really a fan of F1. I don't understand it. 
but my husband loves it so i wanted to show you what we got for the boys this is what we found the t-shirt i'm not sure if you guys are able to see this one is a two to three years it's for uh Olerato, the small boy and then it was retailing at 230 and then we got the same one for his big brother um this is for his brother it was this is for his brother uh, let me go this side this is how it looks this is how it looks so yeah that is that is what we got from the um, from the family market so they're not that bad but the quality is not that great compared to the one that their dad has their dad has like an original one that i got for him on his birthday this year that one is like the one i got it in in Sentin. i forgot what that shop is that one was like two point i don't remember but it was two point something it's good quality obviously so but there's they are still small boys i don't see why we should be buying them original t-shirts while we can get these ones at this price 230 uh the name of the shop barricade epic epic sub and embroidery two to three years two to three years so yeah that is that with regards to the t-shirt and after that we went to check us to get Ola Rato a, a school bag my boy just started with school by the way so my sister actually sent me a screenshot of like backpacks but rikisha go checkers they were on special so i see i saw quite a number of cartoon characters Co coco meloni spider-man spidey mini mouse um ever game mickey mouse what else was the i don't remember but all the oh Paw patrol all the cartoons that you can think of that are famous so this is what we got for him this is like a second spider-man item that my boy owns he had those um uh barking the flip-flops so this is like the spider-man item that he owns i think it's cute it's not too big it's it's the right size for him actually the right size for him uh, this was how much was it i think it was 169 and then we got it for 190 like after we swiped the the checkers uh, that um points extra savings so yeah so that is that with regards to what we got from the shops a backpack I can't believe my boy is in crash, guys. Like, I was so emotional on... When did he start? On the 10th, on Wednesday, when he started. It just reminded me of um, how it was for me when I went to, to crash. My sister likes making a joke. My older sister really likes making a joke. When I got out here, crash, I was in a little on also in a backpack on also in a anything you got that later on in the months while other kids already has and that really <laughs> breaks my heart guys you know so but to have my son now going to school and having all of these things me being able to get all of these things for for him it's a big deal it's like i am healing my my childhood traumas in a way you know certain things that i didn't have he's able to get that by the grace of god and because his parents obviously are working and are working hard so i got emotional i remember vividly in my times at crash i went to crash for two years when i was five and when i was six in 95 and in 96 and i remember there were times more and all of those things so like i just got emotional because of that and the fact that my little boy is now going to school and he is able to have all of those things and not during my time that's why i'm i keep on saying what i uh 
uh, him having all of these things, me being able to do all of these things, or us as his parents being able to do all of these things for him. I'm sort of healing my childhood uh, traumas. Uh, his dad didn't go to, to crash, but I must say, Orana, I did have the best experience with crashing. I still remember some of the things that we learned even the today. I was teaching my nieces the other day, even him, I'm still going to teach him all the things that I learned. Like 30, 20 something years later, I still know all the rhymes, all the short stories, all the Bible verses that I learned from Crash. It was fun, irregardless of all the things that I didn't have, like the, all these things that usually, like obviously go to school back, those plastic ones. So it's just one of those things. And I feel like just in general with my son, I actually, most of the things, one would say I am parenting that trauma because um, he has all of these things that I've never had. Uh, now I can tell you, or even a single doll as a baby girl, I never had. Uh, how sad is that? But it's fine, guys. Things happen. I do not blame anyone. I'm just glad that now I'm a grown adult. I have my own things. I'm able to do certain things for, for my baby boy or our boys. So, yeah, guys, that is what I wanted to share with you guys. He did start school on Wednesday on the 10th of january i went all out for it i recorded a reel for instagram unfortunately i don't have a camera so i couldn't record both for instagram and youtube as well but let me put a reel somewhere here and maybe photos so that you guys can be able to see Thursday evening guys I just put um, I just now put beetroot in this uh, baking air fryer that was much some more air fryer
Tsamarika Efraya. Tsamarika Efraya Manishu or Rike Efraya. That's all. So I wanted to cook it before a thing here. So that is what's happening now. It is around past eight at night in the evening. So yeah, that is what's happening. Nothing much is happening. We've already had our supper. The little boy is sleeping. So I just thought I should update you guys. Uh, after work, we went to the shops. I was actually getting a gift for someone, uh, but I have already packaged it. So I'm not gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna show you a paper bag. Yeah, I was getting a gift for someone. It's their birthday next week. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow is Friday. It is a waking day, so also nothing much is happening. It is a waking day. I'll see you guys either tomorrow or on Saturday. Tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to vlog. So, I am making parking beetroot guard. This, um, let me quickly just show you now. This F. Um, Clavacar air fryer, the pressure cooker. As you guys know, that beetroot takes quite a long time to cook, but with this, this is my fighter right here. This is my fighter, it's just gonna take 30 minutes and it'll be done. I don't want to make it any longer than that. Last time I made it uh, longer, it actually was overcooked. I made it for more than 30 minutes. It actually was overcooked and I wasn't happy with myself. I didn't enjoy it. After this, I don't think I'll peel it tonight. I'll probably maybe do it tomorrow after work or maternal will do it while we are at work. She knows what to do. So yeah, that is that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. Let me quickly show you guys the box. Uh, the packaging that I made for for the for the gift. So yeah, guys, this is the paper bag of the gift. I think she will be getting it tomorrow. I'm not sure, but yeah, I already wrote my message here. I'm not gonna show you guys, but that is that. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time. believe i'm actually recording this without a mic guys i don't know what happened to my mic both my two mics yo guys this youtube thing is so challenging yo especially if you have like low quality equipment cheap equipment yo i'm up to here i can't wait to to buy like quality equipment for my youtube because yo the struggle is real anyway it is a friday um i'm recording this in a car because me and my husband are going somewhere we are going for a staycation a little staycation um yeah uh the owner of the place that we are going to kindly contacted me and asked me to come spend a weekend at at their establishment uh, i don't know it but it is somewhere around pretoria so i want to take you guys with me uh it's self catering by the way so we'll see when we get there they actually contacted me somewhere in december but because december and we don't have time 
I couldn't go. So it's only now that um, I thought it would be a good idea to go, especially because me and my husband are going there to plan. Are going there to plan our year, the things that we want to do, especially for our family for this year. So we just solely going there to to plan, uh, because obviously at home sometimes um, it's not. It's just not possible. It's not possible, especially when you have a toddler, guys. We are using this staycation as a an excuse to plan our year. We are going there to rest. Um, yeah, at the same time to rest. I know that we just came back from holidays, but you know, in December we didn't really rest, guys. Although in in somewhere around the twenty seventh, eight. We went to a little vacation, but that one was basically Olorado's vacation. It was just his. We couldn't do anything. You know, like going on a vacation with a child, guys. Going on a vacation with children. As parents, just know that it's their vacation. You just go in there to, I don't know. But yeah, that is that. We are going there to plan our, our year. Me and my husband, we like uh noting things down or rather writing things that we want to do for our family things that not just material things like things that we want to work on for this year for ourselves it's a little retreat as well for us uh we are going to sort of check in you know check in and uh sometimes in a marriage you know you need that a little time to check in you know just to check if we are still in the same page in terms of how we would like to take our family forward basically we are going there to plan our year 2024 so guys i'm just gonna do a house tour quickly uh, yeah, let me quickly just do a house tour so that I can show you guys how the house looks like. So as you enter, this is the door, sort of like a sliding door in the living room. And then I would say, nah, it's like a, this couch, so big, it looks like a, a four seater couch or three. And then over there ki that little decor item and then mula mutu go ki like a, a corner table type of a thing and then more get this table the coffee table and then gamo ki tv i'm not sure about those plugs over there but i'm not worried about that and then when you come here you find that plant and then as you enter here this is now the door that takes you to the kitchen it's not a door it's like a an open plan and it's quite a big kitchen actually and then out in fella you find this two four six seater dining table and chairs i don't know which style is this one and then i will like a more this fridge Let's see what is in the fridge. Um, okay, I think they put like a bottle of JC for us. This other one is the one that we came with. My husband already put it in there. And then this is our orange juice. I'm going to have a mimosa tomorrow morning. Otherwise, there's nothing. There's like water and then a bottle of milk probably for coffee and then the raga mola microwave and then we graduate a how it's a ja coffee mola and then as you come this side i think this is the door that takes you to the other side i think it's either the garden i don't know i'll check it out tomorrow and then more okay you find this kettle obviously if you want to do your tea here are so horrible. And then kidiraka, kidiraka, cabinets, cabinets, 
having it all the way up until there. There is stove, like a gas stove. Love me some gas stove. So there's actually quite a lot of a lot of cupboards. I think it's it's a good place to come, like as a as a group of friends, just for a weekend maybe, because the living room is also quite big. Let me now take you guys to the bedroom. When you go to the bedroom, you go through this passage. Yeah, it is a passage. And then out there, nah, uh, my bag is already there. Guys, look how big the, <laughs> this bedroom is. This is how I wish my bedroom as at home was like. And then more only like a, a mirror with a chair. I think it's like a makeup station. You know, a makeup station over there. And then you find that um, this occasional chair here. And then that little sofa or what? Ayakamu can bring. And then the two windows. Two windows, see? Daddy blind. And then on a little bit, little more. I'm not sure where is it going. This door. And okay, the two windows. I showed you guys the two windows. And then this is now the bed. Guys, look how big this bedroom is. I love the the side the side cabinets or what, and then the headboard. But yeah, this is how the bed looks like, and then this is with that grey bed cover over there, and then on a little corner for those that are interested, and then as you come this side, you grab this wardrobe. Yeah, it's quite big, Leona, by the way. Um, I'm not sure if I should open inside. In Ali, the hanger and all of that. And then this side, I think the shelf. I'm not going to take you through that. And then as you come this side, this is now the door that takes you to the to the bathroom. There is the shower. Yo, guys, this bathroom is so big. And then over there, a floating, a floating bath, floating bath, and then towels, great towels. And then gamoki toilet. Gamoki toilet. I hate that it's not closed. It's in the same room as the as the bathroom and then as you come this side now you find the two mirrors over there the two mirrors over there and the two but yeah the his and heads what what come on on a little those things lots of space lots of space guys and then what else okay i just want to show you guys those two beautiful lights over there this place is actually giving farm sort of like a farm uh, the design because the it has this wood things on top you know the farmhouse the way they are usually on the ceiling you can see the the barking the wooden roof that is like that so yeah guys that is the house tour i just want to show you how big this room is guys Bonang. Bonang. this doesn't even do it any justice this is how big it is i actually love these two chairs guys they are so cute yo tomorrow i have to take them a picture when there's light and then i showed you guys the working station and then there's like a full mirror here. Uh, yeah, that is me over there, just in my loungewear stuff. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys on the other side. So this place is South Catering. So we actually bought a few snacks and food that we're gonna need for tomorrow and tonight. We passed by Roman's Pizza, Rebecca, 
pizza. I think this special, that special sell us a 200, it's a two large pizza, see? South Samaya, the local drink, uh, Pepsi or something, yeah. So we did that. Not personally, when I go to a South Catering place, I don't, when I go somewhere where it's not my house, I don't like cooking. So um, we opted for buying like a few food that we're going to need for tonight and tomorrow. Tonight we're going to have pizza and then for tomorrow, let me see, let me show you what I got. I ordered a working dish, this dish while I was still at work so that when we get home, we can just take our bags and go. So, um, it's this. This is just beef stew. This I ordered for my husband for tomorrow. This will also be for breakfast. I ordered three of these. You guys know the special. Get the special study This, this in case we want to have coffee or tea tomorrow morning. So yeah. It's this pasta, it's a meal, and this is a meal, this is also a meal, this is also a meal, and this is a meal as well, and okay, this for cooking tomorrow morning, so for breakfast we'll have this, fruits, and yeah. And so yeah guys that is what we brought with now I relate to a self catering place I prefer bringing like ready made food especially a place that is close like this one it's in Pretoria so yeah uh, all of this is still fresh I bought them today via Willis Dash so yeah guys otherwise I'll see you guys tomorrow I'm just gonna we just gonna chill now and then after that we'll probably maybe take a bath or a quick shower really relax there and yeah just chill for for tonight and bond guys sometimes you need it uh you know when you have a, a toddler or children it can become a bit difficult I mean, to bond as a couple so for us this is the perfect time for us to just bond just the two of us you know when you when you have a helper it's <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. You hardly ever find yourself just the two of you in the house. Even if you take, let's say you take your child to your sisters or whatever, it's very rare, guys. It's rare. So here it'll just be the two of us just bonding. We haven't done that in a minute. There's always someone, either our helper or Bana running around. Otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Let me dish out Rije Pizza. Uh, cold drink and then later on we'll just be having either a wine or bubbly mousse. Mabana didn't get to show you outside because it was dark. I just want to show you guys the space. It's a, a sort of like a patio. 
push your balcony however you want to call it because there are stairs that goes there and then there is a little garden in front of the house gorgeous over there it's our little car the owner of this place i think he has a tractor then the little plants you are the vine and we are the branches i can do nothing apart from you giver of life Most companies, January, most companies, most organizations, January, they go for like 10 strategic sessions. Yes, <laughs> strategic sessions. So, Lorena, this is our little hotla, little mini strategy session for our family, you know, just to plan for the year that is and the year that is to be. I remember, um, I mean, when was it that time when I went to look 2018? That 2018, I was, I was saying before I got interrupted by this aeroplane, or uh, this is our little family, the hot in January. Most companies buy a lot of sessions, the hot aka straight sessions, you know. I remember God 2019. Was it 2019? 2018. I once got invited to Lokota guys. And I was usually Lokota Anger it's for like management and executive. But I got invited to Lokota for the company that I was working for then. And yo, I remember being in this room with just management. Me and this other guy, he was, um, I think he was a mechanical technician at the time, but it was just the two of us, we, we were young at the time. Nalena, I was just a young professional. So they said they wanted like two young professionals that they can invite to the hotel. And I was chosen, me and the guy, Itumile. Hi, Itumile. I hope you are watching. I doubt it will be one watch. Me and Inti Milen, but um, so we got invited to to Lohota to be a part of it. And for me, at that time, I didn't understand. But uh, apparently, it was just to let the young professionals be a part of the whole planning for the organization. And now, when I'm thinking about it, I'm like that was actually preparing me i'm glad i got to experience all of that you know to be in the presence of greatness i remember the facilitator this other guy Barigi, Tevogo, like it was someone from out that guy yo dr Tevogo, mama, mama that guy like wherever he is ne? sure 
I'll still talk like I still remember him so yeah it's things like that it was the first time I go to like a, a company sort of trip but it was somewhere around Pretoria in Irene go marking River Meadow Manor before River Meadow Manor became famous before River Meadow Manor it's like a, like a lot of people I went there before even famous on Instagram and all of that and it was it was nice guys it was nice it was quite an experience for me for three days I think it was Wednesday Friday Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Yeah, it was Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. That time, Kikwa, as just a young professional, I don't have a car. I'm there with people. Like, I was the only one, literally, who didn't have a car. It may look at least in another pool. Nana, like a small car, you know. But yeah, it's those things that prepare you for life. And I'm glad that I got to have that opportunity as well you know, I got to learn something. I still say literally there's a reason why I was chosen as one of the young professionals to attend La at that time. So yeah guys, one day I'll do a story time actually of my sort of my career journey, how like I got to once I'm up there, not now, once I'm up there. And I believe I'll get up there one day. So, yeah, guys, just a mini story, story, just for you guys to know me just a little bit. Some people are complaining, I must do a QA. <laughs> I must do a QA. They want to know me. Just, yeah, so now and again, I think in my blogs, I will include things like this where I take you guys back we i come from and how far i have come you know because people just look at you and think you woke up and like have the house that you have and the car that you have and it's not like that so yeah guys we are just having breakfast now so like i said it's a family the hotel and that flight again But yeah, I just thought I should just say hi. I didn't even say hi. Where are my manners? The manners are So yeah, I hope you're having a good day. Uh, let me have breakfast. We are just having a little. Uh, we had, my husband already had his own continental cold breakfast. I'm still having mine because I'm slow. So I'm still gonna have like the actual actual breakfast after that. So yeah, I'll see you guys later. Um, I don't think I'll vlog during the day because we actually not doing anything. We just here to relax and plan for our life for this year. Really, nothing much is happening. But I might show you guys. This place is actually a, a wedding venue as well. So, How are you? Yeah, but. <laughs> Chop, chop. You are the vine And we are the branches And I can do nothing apart from you A giver of life The one to hold on to I can do nothing apart from you No, no You're my lifeline day here we are leaving we are going home we are done with our our annual strategic session so um i just finished doing my skincare my morning skincare routine 
I'm only left, I'm not done actually, I'm only left with, with just putting sunscreen. I'm very proud of how far my skin has come, guys. Yo, I just after I had given birth, not long cover but yeah, right now I'm, I've made a conscious decision to take care of my skin. You know, I've started somewhere late last year, like buying the right product and using, I mean, following the right steps when like doing your skincare routine, both in the morning and in the evening. And so far, I think it's it's doing good. It's just that when I go on my periods, uh, my skin breaks and then maybe a two, one or two, the shonyan and they leave like dark spots so hence you you see me on this side and this side can I lay a bit of dark spots those are like hormonal acne hormonal acne for me has been the pits so yeah guys that is uh, what is happening with my skin someone actually commented in my previous video that I must do a skincare routine I don't think I'm comfortable with that because as yet because i don't think my skin is where i would like it to be but one day maybe i'll do it just to show you guys what i do both in the morning and in the evening like the all the steps that i follow uh with my products and stuff like that so yeah guys it's just an update i'm actually just about to have this smoothie it's just before we have coffee we're going to have coffee before we leave I think we're gonna live around way 11. We are not too far from home. This place is actually in Camel Drift. Uh, if you guys know Camel Drift, that side, yeah, like when you go to Red the Blood on which road is this? Is this Moloto? I'm not sure. But yeah, we are in Camel Drift, not too far from Zambezi, what used to be the Chinatown. Yeah, yeah, Zambezi. So, yeah. I just thought I should update you guys. We are going to go that side of the wedding venue. I don't think I'll do the. I'll show you guys how it looks. Maybe just small clips here and there. Uh, we are going to take a walk to go that side. I feel like we have rested enough. And um, we have done what we came here to do. And for me, more than anything, I also wanted to rest. Right now, I want to go home with my son yeah as i was here i was you know being i still consider myself a new mom two years later you know when you're away you just feel bad sometimes for you like that mom guilt but i think so yeah guys i can't wait to get home and see my little babaki otherwise maybe i should close this vlog here as well i want to close this vlog i hope you enjoyed Please don't forget to subscribe, guys. I was looking at my analytics during the week on YouTube Studio. It tells me that 50, 58% of the people that watch my YouTube are not subscribed. Just over, yeah, just over 50% of the people watching my, my YouTube have not subscribed. So it's way, I am humbly, I am humbly requesting please click the subscribe button the red subscribe button it doesn't cost a cent it doesn't uh, you are not signing up for anything that would really 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 mean a lot please click the subscribe button also don't forget to share my videos with the people that you know your colleagues your friends your acquaintances your family everyone so that my my videos can appear on your profiles on your youtube profiles so yeah guys thank you so much for watching i will see you guys on um on the other side let me have my smoothie very nice i love this this is my favorite guys from Woolies. i uh, usually there's a special yeah j3 so yeah i'm just gonna have this and then i'm currently watching tabang on youtube tabang Tseko. love him so much <laughs> i love him so much he uploads on sundays i think around 9 a.m yeah usually sundays after church i watch him but now because i'm not at church i'm here there is free wi-fi here i forgot to mention before i close this place uh when i was doing the house tour on friday 
I didn't mention over this place in LA, like all the things that you need, the cutlery, the plates, uh, crockery, is it crockery? Yeah, crockery, the plates, your side plates, bowls for cereals, yeah, cutlery, glasses and all of that. So you don't need to worry. But obviously because it's like a farm style, they're not modern. If you are that person who modern or like like fancy, fancy things, I think you can bring your own um, crockery and cutlery. So yeah, guys, I'll see you guys next time.